it's me again, Iyo Shazi, and welcome back to my video and this channel. Yes, yeah, so I'm back again and again and again and again for another video for you guys. So, I hope you are very excited for another Tagalog lesson that we're going to have at this moment. So, please hold on tight. Sit on your comfortable couches because in any minute we're going to start our vocabulary, our Tagalog lesson. But before that, we're going to answer one of our viewers' question. So, what do you want the most at the moment? Is that money and time? So, tell me what you want to get and what you want to do. All right. Um, there are so many things that I want to do at the moment. There are so many things that I want the most at the moment, except for money and time. I want... I wanted to feel... I'm physically, mentally, spiritually, physically healthy. I want to feel freedom. I want to feel myself again because lately I've been so stressed out and I want to feel freedom in myself I want to I want to do activities that's stress-free I want to do meditations activities that will help me become mentally stable physically healthy and emotionally stable so I want to feel that as of the moment. I want to feel complete. So that is my answer. Now for our lesson 60, for our lesson proper, we're going to talk about the word kaunti. Yes, kaunti. It means a little. Yes, little. A little of something. So if you wanted to to ask someone a little of this, a little of that, you can ask kaunti nito, kaunti nyan. Kaunti means a little. Alright? Yes. So let's say for example, kaunti ng asin. Kaunti ng asin. Now I want you to repeat the exact sentence by yourself. Very good. So, kaunti ng asin. So, if you are in a restaurant, for example, or you are in, in the comfort of your house, in your kitchen. So, if you're cooking something and it has no pinch of salt, so you can say, kaunti ng asin. Because, kaunti ng asin in English, that means a little of salt. It means a little salt. Alright? Yeah, so that's the first um, example. Second example, kaunti ng ganito. Kaunti ng ganito. If you're holding something, ganito means anything that you think of. So for example, you are you're basically holding a glass of water. Yes, a glass of water. Or Yes, a glass of water. You can say, a little of this. Or, kaunti ng ganito. You don't know the name of something, you can always say, ganito. Because, ganito means anything. So, if you're holding that, that something, and you said, kaunti ng ganito. So, it means, a little of this. A little of this. Okay? All right, that's for the second sentence. Now for the third sentence, kaunti ng pagmamahal. Kaunti ng pagmamahal. Now I want you to repeat after me. Kaunti ng pagmamahal. Good job. Yes. So. Pagmamahal means love. So if you say kaunti, little, so that sentence means a little love. 
Hmm, a little love. Kaunti ng pagmamahal. So, that is the three example sentences that you that might help you to generalize, to internalize the word kaunti. Kaunti means a little. Alright? And now, for the final activity of this lesson, our vocabulary. And our vocabulary for today is a bit heavy. So, wait for a moment. Mm. So, you might wonder what is this? So, this is sand. Yes, this is sand. So, we're, if you're going to the beach or in the front of your house, in your backyard, you can always find this sand. Sand. So, this is buhangin. Bu, mm, heavy. Buhangin. Buhangin. Please repeat. Buhangin. Buhangin means sand. Sand in English. Bu, buhangin. Mm, heavy. So, anyway, that is up for today's video, for today's lesson. So, I hope you guys learned something and keep learning, you guys. I believe you can be a fluent um, Tagalog speaker one day. So, that would be all for today. Goodbye, and I'll see you on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye!